Beautiful girlfriends of Jalen Brunson. Jalen Brunson, the man who once dazzled the courts of Dallas, took his talents to the Big Apple, and boy did he shine. After balling out with the Mavs, Brunson continued his magic with the Knicks, becoming their savior deep in the playoffs. Talk about a glow up. The Knicks, known for their let's say interesting decisions over the years, finally made a bold move by signing Brunson to a four-year deal, worth $104 million guaranteed. And what did he do? He averaged an astounding 23.8 points and 6.2 assists, leading the Knicks to a second round playoff appearance. Now, he's not just a man on a mission, he's a man in the spotlight. The Knicks saw the diamond in the rough and said, hey, let's make this gem shine brighter than Spike Lee's courtside antics. So why did the Mavs let this rising star go? Well, Brunson was looking for a long-term deal, even before his breakthrough. But the Mavs were like that guy who wouldn't commit in a relationship. They had their eyes set on other prizes like Kyrie Irving and were focusing on just making the playoffs with a 36 and 37 record. Talk about setting the bar low. Brunson, on the other hand, was ready for a serious commitment. Dallas and New York are both vying for the heart of one Jalen Brunson. It's like a modern day NBA Romeo and Juliet. But instead of a tragic ending, we get a hundred million contract and a lot of salty Mavs fans. Dallas and Jalen were like that high school sweetheart who thought they'd be together forever. The Mavericks' owner, Mark Cuban, was pretty confident about keeping Brunson in the Lone Star State. They even had a potential sign and trade deal in the works, which would have given them a 12 million trade exception. But love is not always about money or trade exceptions. Despite Dallas owner Mark Cuban's confidence in keeping his beloved Brunson, the heart wants what it wants, and Brunson's heart wanted the Big Apple. The Knicks, seeing the potential in Brunson, after his breakout season made their move and now they're dancing in the moonlight. The Mavs' loss was the Knicks' gain, and Brunson's value skyrocketed faster than a Dogecoin during a Reddit frenzy. His departure left the Mavs with a backcourt gap wider than the Grand Canyon. And let's just say their replacement options were as uncertain as a Shaq free throw. Ouch. While Brunson is making waves on the court, off the court he's one loyal man. Rumor has it he's deeply committed to the love of his life, but who could that be? Let's switch gears from the hardwood to the heartwood. Let me introduce you to Ollie Marks. Let's play full court, baby. Your go-to channel for the most interesting basketball topics on and off the court. First of all, let's talk about Ollie Marks. The woman who's got Jalen Brunson dribbling in love both on and off the court. Ali is a certified physical therapist, which means she's got the skills to mend broken bones and perhaps even broken hearts. She's got her professional credentials from Northwestern University and currently she's working her magic at the W.B. Carroll Memorial Clinic in Dallas, Texas. But Ali isn't just about muscles and tendons. She's got a heart of gold too. She's deeply involved in philanthropic causes, notably running marathons for Project Purple, an organization supporting families affected by pancreatic cancer. Their love story is like a rom-com directed by the basketball gods. Let's rewind the tape to where it all began. Picture this, two high school sweethearts from Adelaide E. Stevenson High School in Lincolnshire, Illinois. They started dating in 2013 and have been each other's MVPs ever since. Fast forward through college, long distance and career milestones and we arrived in September 2022. Jalen, in a move smoother than his crossover, proposed to Ali on their high school basketball court. Talk about keeping it real while keeping it romantic. They tied the knot in a lavish wedding at the Ritz Carlton in June 2023. Surrounded by loved ones and probably a few referees to make sure everything was by the book. It was a star studded affair with NBA stars in attendance. Ali even had a surprising attire change during the event, adding a unique touch to their special day. Ryan Archidiakono officiated the wedding, and Ali's aunt and family friend also contributed to the event. 
Ali has been Jalen's number one fan, attending his games and even celebrating his 104 million contract with the New York Knicks. If that's not love, I don't know what is. And let's not forget their shared love for travel. From Montego Bay to Miami, these two are collecting passport stamps and cherished memories. As for the baby talk, there's no mini Brunson dribbling around just yet, but hey, who knows what the next season holds for these lovebirds. The New York Knicks, the team that's always been the sleeping giant of the NBA, is slowly waking up. Folks, let me tell you, this giant is not just waking up, it's got morning breath that smells like victory, comprising of Julius Randle, RJ Barrett, Josh Hart, and Jalen Brunson. This team is the epitome of underrated talent. Jalen Brunson thrived in his debut year with the Knicks, posting career best numbers. He's the kind of player who would steal your lunch money and then invest it in Bitcoin for you. The Knicks are not just about making the playoffs, they're about making a statement. They're the embodiment of New York, gritty, resilient, and full of surprises. And let's not forget the fans. Oh, the fans. They're the sixth man on the court. Come playoff time, Madison Square Garden turns into a gladiator arena, and guess what? The Knicks are ready to fight to the death. So underestimate the Knicks at your own peril. They're not just playing for wins. They're playing for New York, and in New York, you either go big or you go home. And trust me, the Knicks have no plans of going home anytime soon. So are you ready for the Knicks to take over the NBA? Because I am. And so is every hot dog vendor from Times Square to the Bronx. We hope Jalen and Ali enjoy their time together and have many Brunsons running around the court like their father breaking ankles and shooting with consistency. For more captivating stories like this, keep it locked here. And remember, love may start in the paint, but it lasts way beyond the fourth quarter. We hope you enjoyed our video topic today. Interact with us, subscribe, and hit the notification button to be notified when we upload more content. Don't forget to leave a like and comment below. Also, feel free to suggest any topics you would like to see on this channel, Full Court. Before we end this video, are you ready to showcase your love for the game and make a statement with premium merch? At Full Court, we believe basketball is more than just a game. It's part of our culture and identity. That's why we've curated a collection of merch that captures the essence of your favorite sports teams and players to celebrate the memories that unite us. And here's the best part. Full Court offers free worldwide shipping. No matter where you are, you can join our global community and showcase your passion for basketball. Visit our website, letsplayfullcourt.com, and explore our merch. You can also find a link below this video in the description. I'm always scared as the opposing coach, even if the guy gets off to a bad start, because guys like that can get going. Good thing, Hudson Jones.